Hey, it's Lizzie filling in for Jacob. Every day we bring you the best videos around, and today we've got a $1.6 million police car, extreme pole vaulting, and sumo ladies. Am I gonna hurt him? The Bugatti Veyron is not only gorgeous, it can also go from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, and it tops out at 267 miles per hour, which makes it the world's fastest police car. The car costs $1.6 million, and it's just one in an entire fleet of luxury police vehicles in Dubai. We have the Mercedes, Aston Martin, Lamborghini, the Bentley. Do you feel like a rock star when you're driving around? <laughs> No, I don't. But the cars actually aren't used to chase down the bad guys. They have an entirely different purpose, PR. Usually people, when they see a policeman, they feel like scared. But in this car, you, you feel different. You feel like they are more friendly, more they want to talk to you. Nice try, Dubai, but I'm a Prius girl at heart. Zero to 60 in no more than 2.5 minutes. I'm here with Star Trek. You like it or do I if you just wanna keep me on this is Disclosure's hit from last year. It's got over 18 million views. It's also got a distinctly 90s feel. Need proof? Listen to this. This is Robin S's hit from two decades earlier. It feels like a house mashup waiting to happen. It's also the theme of this week's Music Monday playlist. Neo-nostalgic artists compared with their 90s counterparts. We've got Ariana Grande with Mariah Carey, Cloud Nothings with Social Distortion, Ten Snake with CeCe Peniston, and so many more awesome pairings. Kick it off with the link here, down in the description, or after the show. If you've been looking for the perfect outdoor activity that requires nothing but a stick, a tall fence, and a complete disregard for personal safety, here it is, extreme pole vaulting. This is Joel Pocklington, a two-time Australian national pole vaulting champion, and this is five years worth of the craziest tricks he's ever invented. Dun -dun 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 He's heading to the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow later this month. Cross your fingers and hopefully we'll see him in the 2016 Olympics. Hey, what's up YouTube Nation? We're the producers of ASAP Science. ASAP Science is the attempt to answer all your burning questions about science in your daily life, like what is the scientific hangover cure, or are silent farts more deadly than loud ones? So the most popular video we ever made was which came first, the chicken or the egg? Is a chicken egg an egg laid by a chicken, or one that simply contains a chicken? Our latest video, which we just posted yesterday, is about the biggest myths about your brain. Most movies and sci-fi books have us believe that humans can only use around 10% of our brain, which is absolute nonsense. Thanks to modern brain scans, technology, we know that we use the whole thing all the time. So if you love finding the answers to your burning questions about science in your daily life, then make sure to check out our channel where we release videos on a weekly basis. If you're like me, when you picture a sumo wrestler, you probably don't picture a 5 foot 1 inch vegetarian woman. Last month, Tiffany Tran was among 10 women who made their way to Jackson Hole, Wyoming to compete in the U.S. Sumo National Championships. You go in with everything you got. It's one of the few sports for a big girl that you can actually have physical contact and not have to hold back and not have to, am I gonna hurt them? Supporters are getting behind a bid to get sumo recognized as an Olympic sport in 2020 since women are forbidden from competing in traditional sumo. I would love to see it become an Olympic sport growing up. You know, you're a tease, but I say that I'm using my attributes to participate in a sport that I love, to represent America. Would any of you guys ever get in the ring? Seriously, let me know in the comments. Hello YouTube Nation, my name is Philip Bloom and I wanted to make something quite special for my first ever trip to Thailand, something a little bit different. So beautiful, I want to go to there. Philip is actually a BAFTA award-winning cinematographer and he made that whole thing using a GoPro. Last week, we asked you guys to submit one to five second transitions featuring a red play button that we can use between videos like we do in every show. You may have noticed a fantastic one in the show today from Sacramento's Short Center South. Thank you so much, guys. If you wanna see your transition in the show, post it to YouTube and then drop a link for us in the comments. Now play us out, Chloe Howell. Well,